Hello, everyone, and welcome back. As always, I'm your girl, Candy Washington. So before I dive into today's episode, which is all about our favorite troll, Monica Garcia, and how karma has everybody's address. So before we dive in, go ahead and like, subscribe, and share. So with that, let's go. So if you haven't heard, Monica Garcia has been ordered to pay Heather Gay $35,000 over the whole botched, you know, fillers, Botox that she alleged from Beauty Lab, but it turned out that she had actually stiffed Beauty Lab on the bill. And then she did this like ridiculous, frivolous lawsuit, which then Heather had to then counter sue in order to get out of it. It was a hot, hot mess. And at the end of the day, The only reason why Monica sued Heather was one, because she couldn't pay her actual bills. But I'm confused because I'm like, if you have money to sue people, get a lawyer, do do the absolute most, why don't you have enough money to just pay your Botox bill or whatever lip filler, face filler, injector, whatever the hell it was? Pay those bills instead of having to go to the legal system. But again, I'm not a doctor, I don't diagnose, but I think that people like a Monica Garcia it's really about their narcissism. It's about hurting other people. It's about putting other people down. It's about winning at all cost. But like I said, karma has everybody's address and now she has to pay Heather $35,000. Let's get a little more of the details. So this is from All About the Real Housewives. Former Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, Monica Garcia, has been ordered to pay Heather Gay's Beauty Lab 35 k after failing to pay lip injection bill. Now a Utah judge has ruled in favor of Heather Gay's Beauty Lab, according to court documents obtained by the Sun, the U.S. Sun. The medical spa had filed a proposed judgment with the Salt Lake City Court on October 22, 2024, which was approved by the judge and finalized on November 4th. A judgment has been entered in favor of Beauty Lab for $35,853.60. The total includes the principal amount that the company initially sued for in August of 2023, which was just $2,000, plus pre-judgment interest at 18% per year from February of 2020 until October 2024. So basically, if she just would have paid, it would have been like two grand. Now it's like 35K. The interest totals $1,683.62. In addition, Monica was charged with a $15 late fee, cost and fees of $604 associated with the lawsuit, and Beauty Lab's attorney's fees totaling $31,550. That's what I'm saying. Why? Like, if you would have just, and to be honest with you, I don't even think Monica had to pay her bill. She just should should have not sued Heather. And she should have just not sued Beauty Lab. Because didn't she start this whole thing by suing Beauty Lab? Saying that they did a botched job because she didn't want to pay her bill? Like if she just would have piped down and went away, she would not have this judgment against her. And that's not all. Beauty Lab is able to collect post-judgment interest at the rate of 18% per year until the judgment is fully satisfied. So she's going to have to pay 18% of interest per year until it's fully paid off. That's a lot. That's a lot. What do you think she's going to do? Do you think she's going to like file for bankruptcy? Like I know she has the gig of like, you know, being the voiceover on the House of Villains, but is that enough to pay this off? That's crazy. That is crazy. Monica has since responded to the lawsuit lawsuit furious over having to pay attorney's fees for Heather's company, adding that the amount she will have to pay is greatly excessive. Heather Gay's beauty lab filed a lawsuit last year after Monica didn't pay for her procedures. In response, Monica countersued, saying she wouldn't as she wouldn't as she received a botched nose and lips injections. Okay, so I guess Beauty Lab has sued Monica first because she didn't pay. That's right, but I still stand by what I said. If Monica had just kept her mouth shut, if she hadn't gone after Heather on the show, if she hadn't gone after Lisa and everybody else, if she hadn't done what she'd done, this whole beauty lab thing would not have come back to bite her in the butt. So basically, if she would have just kept her mouth shut, she would not be facing a 35K judgment against her. 
if she just would have piped down. So girl, so girl. So what do you guys think about this? Honestly, I think karma has everybody's address. Monica was evil. She was vicious. She was mean. She was delusional. And she's still mean and evil and delusional. Speaking of which, she is still calling our girl Lisa Barlow trash. And now she's throwing Sutton Strack under the bus and is calling her trash and saying she's vile and this, that, and the third. It's insane. So let's watch the clip of Lisa Barlow and Sutton Strack. They're doing this cute little interview. They're playing this cute little like Bravo game and they're talking about Monica. So I'll play the clip for you. Then we'll get into the article about how Monica clearly has not learned her lesson. You know, getting a 35K judgment against her, she's still running her mouth, getting fired from the Real Housewives, she's still running her mouth. Like, girl, when are you gonna learn to pipe down? So let's watch the video and then we'll get a little bit into the article and more details. Wonder. Uh-huh. Is her name Jenny? No. One season. I'm scared of her. Um, Mary? No. no. Um, like I would be scared if she came on my cast. Who was on our cast? I, I kind of don't want to look at her face. I'm oh so God. scared of her. Oh my that gosh, much. now I'm like wondering who it is. Let you should be through. scared of her. It's not Jen. No. Um, Why would you be scared Monica. of Jen? Monica. Yes, hello. Yeah, Why Monica. would you be scared of Jen? I see, I forgot about her too. I'm like, Monica, yeah, you got Monica. it. She's Yikes. scary. Ooh, she's. I feel like she works at a nail salon or something. <laughs> There's something about her that, like. She does give off that vibe. Like, yeah, right? Like, yeah. she knows everything. Or, yeah, she gets yeah, all. She well, gets that's all where the she gossip. gets all of her tea from, from the, the nail that salon? does her nails. <gasps> Stop it! She really? does like everybody on my cast nails, and she's a gossip. She tells everybody everything. See, she looks yeah. like that person. Okay, yeah. good. Well, I mean, I hear stuff from my neighbors that go to her. So, okay, yours. She still works at the nail salon. No, no, she goes to it. Oh, yeah. Right. Um, she's in the House of Villains, I think, right now. Mm, that she's makes like sense. The Wonder. Uh huh. Is now Monica is all in her feelings over that clip. And saying the absolute filth of all, Monica, shut up, pipe down. You need to go get some jobs with some jobs because you're going to have to pay that 35K off, sweetheart. You're going to have to pay that or you have to go bankrupt. You know, I don't know. But here is more on that situation. Da, 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 da. It says, after Lisa Barlow guessed Monica after a few failed attempts, Sutton stated that she feels like Monica works at a nail salon. Monica wasn't very pleased sharing the video clip to her Instagram writing, shocked that you would say something like this, especially since we've met a couple of times and had such nice conversations, and I've always said how kind you were to me. Monica, shut up. Sutton Strack does not like you. Nobody in that circle likes you. Not because they think that they're better than you, not about money or anything like that. It's because you're not a good person. Like you stalked these women. You created burner trolls accounts. You took security footage from uh, Jen's home, her private home with her children. You took security footage. You did drive-bys of these people's houses. You recorded them without knowing. And you literally then put everything on blast for the role to see under a fake anonymous troll account. You are cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. She's being cordial to you because you scare her, not because she actually wants to like hang out with you and rock with you. Like the, the level of delusion is insane. She then added, I am shocked at this conversation as a whole, but to also say, why would you be scared of Jen? You women are out of control, and this is nasty for so many reasons. Also, I haven't gone to that nail girl since she started doing Angie back in the beginning of season four. Once again, with your lies, Lisa, absolute trash. Monica, shut up. <laughs> like, please shut up. <laughs> Talking about you haven't gone to that girl. Like, it's so the level of middle school this is. I haven't gone to that nail girl since she started doing Angie back in the beginning of season four. Monica, have you stopped going to that nail girl because you can't afford it? Because you got fired from the show? Girl. Monica was fired from the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City after season four when the cast gave the network an ultimatum after Monica was behind a troll account against them. So I get it. You're trying to still remain relevant. You know, you don't have any money coming in except for, I guess, the like House of Villains voiceover. 
I don't know how much that's paying you, but Monica, if I were you, I would try getting a life. Like, let, like, let it go, girl. Leave Lisa Barlow alone. Keep her name out your mouth. Leave Sutton alone. We all love Sutton. Leave Heather alone. Get out your checkbook. Write that 35K check. And keep it pushing and popping because this isn't it for you. But as always, I want to know what you guys think. Like I said, Karma has everybody's address. She was running her mouth. She was being really mean, vindictive, psycho. And now she has to pay Beauty Lab $35,000. So let me guys let me know what you guys think. Are you watching this season of Salt Lake City? If so, what do you think about the girls? And yeah, put everything down below and be sure to like, subscribe, and share. It is a free and easy way to help my channel grow. And until next time, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.